Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel Panther Schools. My name is Amit Singh and in the video we are going to talk about what are access modifiers in Salesforce. So the previous video was all about inheritance. We talked about what inheritance is, when to use and what kind of relationship inheritance is going to give you whenever you are trying to inherit the parent class behaviors their methods or their variables so here we'll talk about we have seen there were some places we have used uh, public some places we have used global as a access modifier so in apex there are total four modifiers that we have we, we also have other modifiers like virtual that we have seen in the previous video for inheriting the things but these are the top global uh, access modifiers not global we have got these four access modifiers which are really important to know we have got private we have got protected we have got public and global public and global are uh, public and global can be used with the classes as well as with the variables with the methods that means public and global can be used anywhere when we talk about private and protected these are the access modifiers which we will be using with the variables or with the help with our methods we cannot use these variables with our classes or our uh, we said yeah we cannot use these variables with the classes we can use with only variables and the methods there are some of, of the places where we can also use these modifiers like in apex triggers or in our anonymous block but those are not useful because we cannot refer those variable anywhere in the apex class now we have a very important thing which is uh, how to use or when to use these access modifiers what is the use of public or what is the use of private protected or global access modifiers so we will talk about uh, all about these with the help of some examples we have some like uh, we have the access modifier which is global as this name says that this is global global means now let me give you some real time example we all are living in a room or we all are living in a home right so whenever say we are living in a room uh, or uh, not room let's quickly talk about home we are living in a home right so anything that is available in a common area that will be available publicly for any person who is living in, the, in that particular home and any other things like your cupboard your bed your chair your table table fan or table light all these kind of are the private we'll say that the necessary um, private things that only the people who is only the person who is living inside that room can access so those are the private and the any anything like freeze or we say that uh, washing machine these are the some ne uh, some things that can be accessed publicly right anyone can use these pub uh, these things in the house that's why these are the public things now when this global things comes global is something now let's quickly uh, expand our example to a society level so we are living in a society then we have uh, swimming pools we have some clubhouse we have some grounds uh, some uh, cricket pitch or a table tennis ground volleyball ground right so these are the properties which can be accessed with the people who are living in that society so that will become the global for that society now in terms of salesforce global modifier is used whenever we wanted to access our apex code outside outside of the namespace the namespace thing is related to the manage package and these packages we can download from the app exchange we will not go deep into the namespace or the manage package thing but think that you have created some reusable piece of code you have distributed it for example uh, like we used to download the application from the mobile stores right similarly we can download the salesforce application from the salesforce app exchange now whatever the app application we download it may have some custom objects some record pages page layouts some apex trigger some piece of apex code now if i have installed that application into my salesforce environment and i wanted to access the class of that particular managed package from my salesforce org 
and I wanted to develop some other piece of functionality that I can access with the help of global access modifier. If the class is written by using global access modifier, which is there inside namespace, then only I can access. Protected is something which we will be mainly using uh, whenever we are working with the inheritance to access the parent class property. So for the parent class property, instead of public, uh, we will try to make those as private. Sorry, not private, protected. So let's quickly get back to our Apex, Apex class and then do something so that we can get more understanding about access modifier. So this is the class which we are working on, animal and dog. If you get back to animal class, by default, we have got this public properties like public, right? Now let me quickly make it as private first. So if I make this as private, then these variable, the name is and weight, this will only be accessible within this class. I can use these anywhere in the methods over here, but I cannot use these variables inside the dog class. Even the dog is inheriting the property of my parent class, which is animal. So what I will do is, if you are following me with the video, so you just go ahead, make the changes and deploy the code to the Salesforce org. And if you are in developer console, just after making the changes, save it. Now here, once you deploy the code, okay, you go to the dog. We have created a dog class, which is extending our class animal. And we have got a constructor. That constructor is calling a super class constructor, okay. And then inside a constructor itself, let's quickly have a system.debug. And here I will just try to put this dot name. Okay. This name is basically we are trying to refer the property of our parent class, which is name. Okay. So if you go ahead and try to deploy it, what it will uh, give us is throw us the error. And it will say that variable is not visible animal.name. We clearly see that variable is not visible. That means variable is private. And if we wanted to make sure that these variable can be accessed from the child class, which is dog, then what we will do is we will make these vari uh, variable as protected. So as soon as we make these variable as protected, we deploy our code to the Salesforce environment. Then we will be able to deploy this code as well the dog class which we have made some changes you can easily see now the deployment has been successfully deployed the code has been successfully deployed this is about private and protected now what this public says this public says if you make any class which is public any method which is public or any variable which is public then you can access this class within the this Salesforce environment, our Salesforce environment, which we are connected. I can access this class. I can access this class anywhere in my Salesforce org. I can refer this class from Keyable Apex. I can refer this class from Batch Apex, from a trigger, from Lightning Web component, from Aura components. So any kind of place where I can use Apex class, I can use this if I want, if there is a necessary or if there is a need to use this Apex class, I can use it there. Now, if I try to make it, if I make it private, uh, we have already seen, we will only be accessed the same variables. Even if you make this method private, this method will only be accessible within the class. We have also talked about more about methods, how to make private and all those in the video which we have published previously now one thing that i would like to add here in this video is there is a one concept which uh, i did not told you in methods or i say in inheritance right in the previous video so we talked about right this is our child class which is dog and this is accepting some sort of parameters like name age, and weight so we have some other properties for a dog like breed or color so what if we wanted to accept these properties as well in the constructor so we can definitely accept okay there is no such hard and fast rule that the child class should only accept the parameters that are or should only accept the number of parameters that are being accepted by 
parent class constructor there is no such thing so you can just use any number of parameters that you want here in the constructor and then here as you already have these private variables you can quickly use this uh, concept right we talked about this dot uh, variable name and then assign and similarly you can do the same for the color variable and this is going to now you will be able to access these variable within the other methods wherever you want so this was a very simple concept about the access modifiers but really really important where you wanted to use public where you wanted to use private so if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me and please give it a like give it a thumbs up share with your friends so that we can grow together thank you mm -hmm.